What's going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for your PlayStation where today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make your PlayStation controller completely overpowered on PC. And yes, that's right. For those of you guys wondering, I recently did purchase a custom PC. I've actually had this build for around a couple months now from NZXT and overall I've been pretty happy with it. But for those of you guys who do use controller on PC, I'm gonna be showing you guys my number one tip for improving your performance on controller. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So step one, I personally play on a wired connection with PC. So you'll wanna make sure your controller is plugged in. And next I recommend downloading DS4 Windows, which is a free program that basically makes it easier for you to set up your PlayStation controller with PC. Now the version I use currently is the latest version, which is 2.2.4, but depending on when you are actually watching this video, there could be a newer version. But this right here is where the magic actually happens, and that is with a program called Lord of Mice. And what it does is it will actually let you overclock your PlayStation controller on PC, which does reduce the input lag to sub one millisecond response time. Now, the one thing I will say is that if you do this, do it at your own risk, because there are a few Reddit sources saying that this could potentially shorten the lifespan of your controller. Now, personally, I've had absolutely no issues as of yet, and chances are you probably won't either, but I do want to add that disclaimer. So the way you download it is pretty easy. Uh, the first thing I recommend doing is typing in Lord of Mice on Google, you'll want to use the first link, which is a GitHub page with the latest version, which is HID USB F. And once you have it downloaded and installed, you can open the program and configure the settings. Now, just for reference, if you open your DS4 Windows program and go to controller readings, what you'll notice is that your input delay will be around three milliseconds or so. Now, in order to lower this number, we need to go into the Lord of Mice program, select all in the drop down menu and select the device that says wireless controller. You'll want to check the box that says filter by device. Next, we're going to click on B interval, hit the drop down menu on selected rate and change it from default to 1000. Then click install service and then hit restart. I also recommend unplugging and plugging your controller back into your PC to make sure the change does take effect. But basically you'll know you did it right when you see the rate at 1000 and the B interval at one for the wireless controller. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, I recommend just repeating the steps once again and make sure you unplug and plug your controller back in. And if that doesn't work, you can always try restarting the programs. Next, we're going to restart both Lord of Mice and DS4 Windows. And if you've done everything correctly, you'll see that your controller input delay is less than one millisecond. I do recommend just making sure both these programs are open and running while you're playing the game that you're playing. But other than that, it's literally that simple. Now you know how to make your controller completely overpowered on PC. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video.